once that dream, once that fire is lit inside an entrepreneur, they're like, okay, well, this might not be the exact correct, right business opportunity for me, but the vision, the dream of independence and freedom is still there and it will keep on burning and it'll keep you going. Welcome to the My Future Business Show, where we get you in front of your best audience and keep you there. Not only are we interviewing the biggest names in business to help you become even more successful, we're inviting you to book your spot on the show to help you grow your business. So at the end of the call, make sure you fill in the interview application form at myfuturebusiness.com forward slash interviews. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the show. My name is Rick Nusky. I'd just like to take a second of pause for, uh, you know, just sharing with you how grateful I am to be your host and for all of the feedback that we're receiving about the show. It's wonderful, it's warm, it's supportive, and it's certainly inspiring. And uh, talking about inspiring and uplifting and making a difference, I'd love to welcome to the show, Mayim Vega. Welcome to the show, Mayim. Hi. Hi, Hi, Rick. It's nice to be here. I'm yes. excited to be here. No, look, you have a wonderful background just for everybody so we have some context. You're a, a naturopathic herbalist and a holistic life coach. We're going to be talking about that in some depth and we're going to talk about your business and exactly what you do. But it's, uh, I guess, uh, traditional for us to spend a bit of time talking about the people behind the business. So I'm wondering if we can do what we normally do and start off by um, finding out where you live. Where's home for you? Um. Well, I was born in the Philippines, and um, I came to America when I was around three years old, and I lived in California until 2014, and then after that, I moved to Texas for um, bigger space, because um, back in California, we had four children, and we were in a cramped little townhouse, and we needed more space, so yes. um, we came to Texas, we traded our our 1,200-square-foot townhouse for a... 4,000 a square foot home on an acre of oh, wow. uh, beautiful <laughs> land for, and it was cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> our, our home price was cheaper. Beautiful. I like cheaper. In California. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. And, um, you know, you've always seen America as the, the home of opportunity, obviously, because you've mm. done a lot uh, with your time, which I think is wonderful. Now, um, uh, I wonder, um, as a mom, um, do you find yourself uh, in, in a leadership role all the time for them? And what is a, what's a day like for you, um, not only running a business, but um, playing that role as well? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I have seven children, and I homeschool them. And I feel like, uh, you know, the way I do, um, the way I run my home, and the way I do business is very similar. You know, I, I you know, make sure everything is organized, and I, 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 I know the affairs of both my business as well as my children and um and i also i like to i like to instill in them um values that i use in my business such as you know financial independence mm -hmm. and just independence in general and um you know and then also i instill in them you know the holistic health and healing principles that of course um I use not only in business, but it's even more so in my family as I raise my children because, you know, I've raised my seven children very holistic. Um, none of them have ever um, um, had antibiotics, like uh, um, prescription yep. antibiotics. Yep. They've never taken any kind of pharmaceutical drugs. Um, they, they, they don't see doctors. Um, normal medical doctors. Once in a great while, we'll see a, homo, a homeopath, mm -hmm. a homeopathic medical doctor, or a chiropractor. You know, but everything else we are able to um, um, deal with at home because of this wonderful skill. You know, this 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 gift. You know, this this knowledge that um, I've acquired. That's wonderful, and, and, and I bet you they're all fit and healthy. And uh, um, did you, is, is, has the homeschooling component always been the way it was, or is that due to pandemic? What is that, is that a standard thing in your home? We've always homeschooled. Mm -hmm. um, I, I come from a religious background, and so, um, you know, my friends, most of them have, have also always homeschooled um, their children. And also, most of my friends, um, are also very holistic. It kind of, I don't know, seems to flow, doesn't uh, it? Go with the territory, I guess. <laughs> you know, when you're enlightened about, you know, the things that are going on in the world, 
that includes everything, you know, mm-hmm. like. Um, mm-hmm. Now, now yeah. um, tell me about your partner. I know that I've seen in a f- him in a few images. And what, how big a part does he play in, I guess, the family life and uh, the running of the home? How important is that relationship? Um, well, yes, he is. He's a great father. He's very supportive. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when I began, I think we were both um, pretty holistic to begin with. Yeah. Um, we were vegetarian for a long time, mm-hmm. um, even before we got married. And then um, we're not anymore. We, we do eat meat. I don't, um, yeah. it's not healthy for, for me and um, to be vegetarian. I found that yeah. out um, yeah. in my discoveries as well. But um, yeah, and he's also very holistic minded. I've, I've taken him through this journey with me. And um, sometimes we debate on what's like a better natural remedy, like, for example, for cuts and wounds. Like I think that a lav- I, I always my go to is lavender for cuts and wounds, and he likes oh yes, he's manuka honey, and mm. you know, sometimes <laughs> he'll like prefer vitamins, and I'll like say no herbs, you know. So sometimes we'll debate. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sharing. I'm really loving the call. I, I really do appreciate it because we all learn quite a bit because in the traditional business world, um, a lot of people don't have this same mentality, this same approach, this same enlightenment as you refer to it as. And, you know, there's certainly a lot to be learned. Now, I, I'm wondering, as a, a busy person, when do you get downtime and what does that look like for you? Do you read? Do you listen to music? Do you meditate? What, what happens for you? Um, well, you know what? We are Jewish, mm-hmm. so um, we keep Shabbat, and I think that is um, a blessing for me as an entrepreneur, <laughs> yep. because um, before I was religious, I used to, I, I'm, I'm a workaholic, you know, by nature. I just love to be productive, and that's another value that I've instilled in my children. I, I always want them to be productive, and I want them to be producers instead of consumers, you know, Um you can so, get into that trap for sure, can't you, being a consumer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I think having the, the Sabbath, you know, the Shabbat, that has been a blessing for me to have downtime and, and spend a whole day with family and friends and um, and God and, you know, read and stuff like that. So you spend a lot of time in reflection, one would think. Uh, especially on Shabbat, yes, absolutely. It's It's really nice. Yeah, and it's How calm bad. and it's peace and peaceful and it's quiet. And, you know, nowadays in our society, being the way things seem to be going, let's say seem to be, because, you know, the media has a lot to be account- accountable for, don't they? How do, you, how do you deal with those things? How do you turn them off? Do you not have technology? What, what's the go? Um, we have technology, but we're selective about it. Mm. And I'm so glad those days of, you know, keeping the TV on 24-7. I'm so glad that that's not yeah, no longer agree. really a thing yeah, in yeah. most households anymore, at least no. that, not that I know of. <laughs> um, it used to be when I was growing up, it was oh, like yeah. the TV was always on. Yep. You know, pro- propaganda machine was always on, always <laughs> something negative, you know. <laughs> so now I, you know, I we do, actually as part of homeschool, I try to keep them up with, um, uh, the children up with things that are relevant um, and that affect us and yep. affect them yep. as yep. well. You know, we don't only lear- learn from books, but we learn from um, what's what's happening in the world today. I think that's very important. And how to think through those things. And also, well, we're also very conservative. And, um, you know, most of the media and most of the schools do not teach that. Mm. You know, they don't ter- teach conservative or, or religious values. And so that's something that um, that we do. And we try to be positive and we try to help our children to see that no matter how things look bleak, yep. Um, yep. there's always, you know, having faith, it always helps me to, I think, center myself and realize that all these bad things that are happening are temporary and the world um, will go on because we have a, a benevolent and loving God that will not let it, you know, come to total destruction you know so to speak (laughs) yeah i'm loving the call i I really do appreciate it now i I wonder you took you touched on mindset i i I wonder the the genesis of your entrepreneurial spark where did that come from what was that first moment what were you thinking at the time (laughs) i love that question you know you know it started because in high school 
I was watching this really cheesy infomercial and it was really <laughs> inspirational. <too>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of entrepreneurs, they're like, hmm, you know, they get, they get kind of get sucked in. And then it was a disappointment. I talked my parents into buying me this program and I didn't even know what it was really. It was just like, oh, you can work from home and, you know, it's very easy. And, and when I, when I opened it up, I was like, oh, you clip mm. coupons. And I think you, you clip coupons and you turn them in for cash as if you were a grocery store. So it was like really shady. <laughs> I was like, and I'm not doing that, but, <laughs> but that, that, but it's still, you know, I think an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur doesn't give up once once that dream once that fire is lit inside an entrepreneur they're like okay well this might not be the exact correct right business opportunity for me but the vision the dream you know the the dream of independence and and freedom and you know all that is still there and it will keep on burning and it'll keep you going throughout you know um the Bible says the righteous fall seven times but then they get back up again they always and that's get also back up. Yeah, and that's also the sex, sex, successful entrepreneur. You know, it's not like you know, it's you, you succeed from day one. That's that's I've never I've never heard of that story before. Yeah. I've always heard of, you know, it took me, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, a million times before I succeeded. But I never gave up, and it worked, and I did it. Another version of that is uh, my overnight success took me ten years. <laughs> now, uh, I'd love if we could, just for the sake of context, uh, Mayim, is to share your educational background. Um, what have you done with uh, your time? Um, yeah, well, I I was actually I in college. I trained to be a computer scientist slash um, a yeah, computer scientist, and then I I went to work for NASA um, before I got married um, as a computer scientist slash engineer mm -hmm. and then after um, I got married and I had my first baby and I put my child in daycare it was right next to you know um, where I worked at NASA at, at Moffett Field in California mm -hmm. but um, I didn't like it I didn't like you know giving my baby to some strangers oh, that yeah. I didn't really have a relationship with I didn't have my my mom or my husband's mom there to help us you know babysit. I think I would have, you know, trusted if it was like a relative, but my mom is in the Philippines and re my husband's mom was four hours away. And it just, so, and I didn't feel right. And um, I had my, uh, my other friends were very, also very holistic and they homeschooled. And I was like, well, we can do that too. Why, mm -hmm. why not? And, and I was like, that's, and that was really, that was my why for becoming an entrepreneur yep. is, is because of that. And so um, that's my, that was my first life, I guess, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. And then we had a, yeah. And then we had like a series of, um, like health crises mm -hmm. in my family with, you know, starting with my son, um, when he was born. And then later the final straw was with me when I, I, I started getting terrible migraines and I, I don't even remember having a headache before that time. And I thought I was going to die. I had already had two children, but the pain that I was feeling with the migraines was worse than childbirth. And so you can imagine it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I just, I thought I was going to die. And so I told my husband to rush me to the emergency room in the middle of the night. Wow. And um, they ran, ran a bunch of tests and asked me a bunch of questions. And at the end, the, you know, the nurse, you know, after hours of waiting, with our two babies in the hospital in the emergency yeah, good room. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> they they finally called us up and and the nurse was like, Oh, we can't find anything wrong with you, but the doctor would like to talk to you. So I talked to the doctor for, you know, fifteen minutes total that night really only. And she said, Um, you know, we can't find anything wrong with you, but we we want to give you a CT scan to rule out the possibility of a tumor, but it's not covered by insurance. But we didn't have insurance anyways. She didn't know that. We were had to pay everything out of pocket and so um because my husband was a contractor yeah and i had i had already stopped um working at nasa and um you know to be a work from home mom and so at that time i said well i think i'm about to die so what's two thousand dollars you know <laughs> um Small price. let's do it let's go through the ct scan and um so i did that 
and mm. it ended up costing four thousand dollars for everything that I and that was a long time ago. It 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 would be much much more today. Yeah. If someone was in the hospital today, maybe ten thousand or more. I don't know. But anyways, so after the CT scan, the doctor's like, "Good news, um, there's nothing wrong with you. You just have a really bad headache, <laughs> and mm -hmm. here's here's some really strong painkillers." And I'm like, oh, "What? what? Like, excuse me? <laughs> like, I'm about to, I I feel like I'm about to die here, and you're telling me that there's nothing wrong with me, and I just spent like four thousand dollars, and you uh, have nothing for me, you know? If nothing else, you're gonna have a heart attack." <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> worse, right? Like, you know, so hard to death, yeah. Exactly. And 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 how much did the doc that doctor spend on her education and all the nurses there? And how much did that C T scanner cost? And they had nothing for me, no answers. And so that's when I realized, you know, this this that was the last straw for me and I was like, the medical system is broken. I'm I'm gonna have to find out the answers for myself because I would not accept that. You know, I would not accept that. There's nothing wrong with me. There's obviously something wrong with me if I think I'm about to die. That's just, this was just the stupidest, most ridiculous answer I'd ever heard mm. from someone who is a doctor, you know. And intuitively, you just felt <clears throat> that there was something wrong when, you know, there was a better answer? Humans are not meant to go around thinking that they're about to die because of pain. There's mm. obviously something wrong. It's ridiculous to think that there's nothing wrong with you mm. if you are in extreme pain. Mm. And, and at, you know, yes, intuitively, that's what I believed. And so I began my studies. Um, I studied um, herbalism and nutrition. And I studied, and I studied at a, a school that no longer exists anymore. Unfortunately, um, a lot of holistic schools there and, and practices, professionals even, are targeted um, by the government and, you know, they make it very hard for us to heal people because we have answers that they do not. But um, if we, if everyone knew these answers that we had, then their system would go bankrupt. You know, a big pharma, modern medicine would no longer be needed because we would be able to heal ourselves. You know, and that is the, the function of um, a true holistic healer is not to heal someone but to unlock, you know, the inner healer in every single person. Every single person is their own best doctor. Or if you're a mother, you are the best healer um, for your child. That doesn't mean that you don't need to go to, um, you know, professionals for advice. But ultimately, you know your child the best, and you know your, your own body the best as well. Hmm. And so that's, and that's what I learned from... Um, my herbalist teachers and my mat my naturopathic teachers and the holistic doctors that I learned from, um, I, I later all I, and I, I I couldn't stop at just that one institution where I learned um, nutrition and herbalism. I felt like it wasn't enough. I felt mm -hmm. like I felt like um, a lot of ans I did get a lot of answers, but um, there was also it opened up more questions. So I continued yeah. my studies and I studied one of the places that. Um, I learned a lot from was Dr. Christopher's School of Natural Healing, and I and that's where I I, I learned about um, Richard Schultz, one of my you know one of my favorite teachers, and also Do Dr. Christopher. They're not medical doctors; they are herbalists, mm -hmm. master herbalists. And then um, later on, um, I went to learn with Dr. Andrew Saul, who's also not a uh, medical doctor; he is a scientist. He has a PhD, but he. Um, he studied the the works of uh, Linus Pauling, who was a two-time Nobel Prize winner, and kind of, and he popular popularized orthomolecular nutrition or orthomolecular medicine, which um, you know a simpler way to say that is uh, megadose vitamin therapy. You don't ask Especially me to say it. <laughs> that's, 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 um, yeah, so that all that all kind of made it big because of Linus Pauling, this Nobel Prize winner, but his work. It was is mostly there's a lot of research there's a lot of science out there to support natural healing methods the reason why people keep saying oh there's not enough evidence there's not enough blah 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 is because it's not profitable so they mm. don't want to look they don't want to look at the evidence they don't want to look at what's out there yes and that's a different taste <clears throat> certainly absolutely yeah 
Well, look, uh, you know, I'm loving the feedback that you're sharing with us. Now, um, in terms of um, time, how long did it take you to go through this training to get to a point where you felt that uh, you had a good grasp on it and you were able to, um, you know, look after yourself at least better using those techniques? Um, well, you know, um, as soon as I started learning, I would start experimenting. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also something that, so this entrepreneurial spirit, I think it's the same also spirit that helped me to um, become a healer because mm -hmm. as a healer, you have to be willing to take risks and entrepreneurs also take risks, right? Yep. And we have to be able to, and we have to also have to be willing to take responsibility for our own health, just like entrepreneurs take responsibility for their own business, their own finances, their own, you know, everything. Yep. Yeah. So there's there's so many parallels um, with with being a holistic healer um, and being an entrepreneur. So um, yeah, that's great feedback. I, it's funny. I had a, a question for you, if I might, uh, mm -hmm. Mayim, and it's about the name Aruka. Tell us a little bit about that. Where did that come from? Oh yeah, sure. Well, l let me <clears throat> let me actually read the quote where, where it, it's it's a it comes from a biblical word, mm -hmm. and it means like. Uh, it's inter so let me read the verse it says in jeremiah chapter 33 uh, verses 2 3 and 6 it says thus saith the lord the maker thereof the lord that formed it meaning you know the earth the heavens to establish it the, the lord is his name call unto me and i will answer thee and i will sh i will tell thee great and mighty things that are hidden which you do not know behold i will bring it health and this word health translated there is that word aruka ah. and and healing and i will heal them and i'll reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth and also in in the ten commandments where it says um where it says in the ten commandments it says i will give you long days you know if you honor your parents i will give you length of days long days long life basically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um that that word long is also aruka or well it's the same root as the word aruka so it means like um, health or wholeness or or long or you know just completeness or it has this you know so many connotations to it abundance is something yeah. that comes to mind now I, I know that you're a very balanced skillful educated person who has a a, a realistic look at um, what you do for those around you based on what you know and I wonder I, I know that you have um, uh, you know you have marketing you know that that exists you know you need it you have your training uh, what else are you offering people and how can people um, work with you to learn more about this to become a healer themselves if that was what they wanted to do? Yes, absolutely. So we, um, our website is aruka.com, A-R-U-K-A-H.com. And um, it's been around since 2009. Mm -hmm. Before it was more informational and I would only coach people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But now it's um, a health coach certification program because people started, you know, I started getting people who said, you know, don't just help me. I want to learn. I want to learn to be you. I want to learn, learn to, 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 to do what you do. Um, and so I was like, okay. And so when I was thinking about it and I started offering, people were like, well, do you offer certification? I was like, well, yes, I can offer certification. Certification is, you know, third party vouching for the knowledge that you've learned. And I can certainly do that. And, and then and another aspect was, you know, after they have this knowledge, it's actually a very profitable, profitable um, skill, but very profitable knowledge to have to be able to heal people. And so, um, but the missing element, I believe, and, and the only, really the only business model that I personally know is the online business model. Mm -hmm. So all of that part of um, the certification program, because that's, that's what I use. That's what I know. That's what, that's what has enabled me to replace my salary at NASA and even surpass it while at the same time being there for my children and homeschooling them. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just been wonderful. Mm. And so, um, I, I, and I really have like a passion to, um, help mothers who were in a very same situation as I was, um, long ago, you know, to, to teach them these skills, these holistic health and healing skills to be so that they can become the healers of their own home and then also their communities, um, not just their local communities, but, you know, today we have global communities with, you know, social media and whatnot. Their sphere of influence. Yeah. And 
and and to start you know um, online businesses that will enable to them enable them to be like you know the Proverbs thirty one woman in the Bible. It talks about how she's home with her family, but she's also an, an entrepreneur. You know, she makes things, <laughs> she sells things, and so I feel like this is like the modern day you know the uh, valor of proverbs 31 yeah that's wonderful thank you again for sharing I, I wonder if we can just deep dive a little more in the few remaining minutes that we have left Mayim, about the the mini course itself how long does it actually take for somebody to go through that and is that just the first part towards certification okay well no the mini course is just a free mini course which is to kind of wet your feet into the world of holistic health and healing ah, right Yep. the kind of the kind of things that you would be learning so um, in the mini course it's it's an ongoing thing mm -hmm. um, right now what we have um, there is um, we have some my, my personal journey I share my personal journey of how I became a healer and then I also um, share um, holistic remedies for the two uh, most common issues that people come to the uh, doctor for which is number one colds and flus and number mm -hmm. two urinary tract infection actually You're and then right. we also talk about um how to avoid some of the leading causes of death um but you know i share some um powerful herbal formulas for um hypertension which um that can lead to heart attack and stroke and those are the two leading causes of death I also talk about cancer um you know i introduce uh, people to some holistic healing methods for cancer and i also talk about um an awesome herbal calcium formula that has helped our family avoid dentists and you know re regrow ca cavities and <laughs> nobody likes dentists <laughs> yeah and like heal heal myself and others of sciatica and and whatnot you know so yeah wow uh, yeah excellent well look uh, there's certainly a lot to to learn here and uh, you would uh, always be learning and, and endeavoring to expand your own knowledge what's coming up for you in the next year or so do you have any plans for expansion or new things happening? Um, expansion, no, maybe not. But you know, I'm I'm excited. You know, um, some um some of the people that should be graduating not too long. We we have you know we we have, I have I have uh, medical doctors, and nurses, and medical technicians, um, learning from me. Not just you know, you know people who with no actually I don't have any mothers. Um, <laughs> like I was like that, that's my passion. But the kind yeah. of people that acting are aren't aren't even a different most set. Of that. yeah yeah the, the people that are that are actually my students are are more um they actually have a, a health background already a medical background or they just um they're just uh, they just want um the holistic health and healing knowledge and they're also interested in the entrepreneur entrepreneurial uh, portion it's funny cuz i always try to market to um uh, mothers but um, and I do get some inquiries, but um, it's that they're not the main people that sign up. Isn't for it some funny reason. how your demographics not oftentimes not what you think it's going to be? So uh, in in wrapping up, uh, which I've absolutely had, um, enjoyed our call together, Mayim, I'm wondering if you could um, help those who want to connect with you and learn more about what you do and how they can get involved. Where are they actually going to find you? Well, I am um, probably um, on my email list is the best. So if you go to ruka.com and you sign up for my the free mini course, mm -hmm. um, whenever I you know have a new video or a new lesson out or um, you know something like that, um, I'll send it to my email list. And I'm also on YouTube, um, uh, YouTube.com/aruka. And those are oh. probably the best places to to follow me. It's email and 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 YouTube. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Mayim, for, for sharing what you have done. We've really had to condense down what you do in a relatively short amount of time. For anybody who's on the call with us today, there is certainly a lot more to learn. Um, and you definitely reach out to, to Mayim at aruka.com. That's A-R-U-K-A-H dot com. I'll be making sure that that link back to Mayim and her uh, wonderful work is available to you. And with that all being said, Mayim, thank you so very much for joining me on the My Future Business business show today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the call, then make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, share us with your friends and book your spot on the show at myfuturebusiness.com forward slash interviews. 
And if you're looking for solutions that will help grow your business, then visit myfuturebusiness.com forward slash shop.